What children's shows are surprisingly creepy? My dad thought Invaderzone was creepy and weird. But we had the episodes on DVD where I would watch them a lot. They didn't mind cat dog. But my mom always said it was disturbing that a cat and dog were attached. The artist from Invaderzone did a comic series called Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. It was crazy dark and gruesome. He also did a spin-off with Johnny's neighbor Squee. He has done a number of others worth checking out. I feel sick was focused around one of the girls NNY was infatuated with. Philibony was a series of collected one-page comics from when Johnny was first written. Everything Can Be Beaten was a children's storybook. I will never not recommend John and Vasquez's work. I feel sick is so expensive for the fact it's just two issues. Wish it would get reprinted. Courage the Cowardly Dog. I was gonna mention that one. Fuck me it's actually horrifying. My parents really thought anything that was cartoon was for kids. They're foreign so they didn't know much of the show. It absolutely was for kids. Though, when it came out, there were a lot of kids shows that were scary on the air. Maybe it was almost a trend. The attitude that children's television should always be safe and calm and completely free of anything even possibly controversial wasn't necessarily a driving force at the time. Unless you're talking about the preschool programming. Lots of shows had that dark aura to them. I'm more thinking 80s slash 90s animation though. Think gargoyles and the like. But even shows like Tales from the Crypt Keeper were pretty scary. The Secret of Nam is one of the darkest and creepiest things ever produced for children. I still love watching it. It's stuff like this that I watched as a kid that made me like scary stuff as an adult. It is also based on real experiments. I didn't realize that as a kid because I watched it in French and spoke French much better than I read it at the time and couldn't read the bit where it said that NIMH equals National Institute of Mental Health. Damn. You just blew my mind. I grew up on this one. Never made that connection. Thank you. Auntie. I'm sorry but Flapjack and Teletubbies are something different. Flapjack was from that weird era of Cartoon Network when they started making shows that would attract some adult swim viewers. Fun fact. Flapjack was made for adults but wasn't successfully sold to their network of choice in Canada, so they sold to Cartoon Network. I loved Flapjack's art style. I thought it was super unique yet very appropriate for the type of show it was. Cow and Chicken. The theme tune leaves you asking lots of questions. The dad was proud and he didn't care how, so it's best you let it go to- Reminds me of Octodad. <laughs> Mr. Meaty was horrible. Wow I forgot this existed. I've never been so grossed out by a show. Ren and Stimpy. My god. When they did the close ups. I still get nightmares. What even was the age rating for that show? Age ratings on television in the US didn't start until 1996. Ren and Stimpy first aired in 1991. I remember when ratings started being used and seeing Y7 pop up on the screen whenever Ren and Stimpy came on. So I guess they determined that 7 was a good age to start watching it. Booba. What the fuck even was that shit? Boobas were created when a TV exec checked what demographics watch TV during a particular slot and discovered that the top two were children and people on drugs. Oh wow. Before I read this, I posted a memory about getting stoned in high school then getting the gang together after lunch to watch Boobab. So you're right on the money. The animation on JJ the jet plane is much more horrifying than I remember as a child. Honestly dude most late 90s CGI kids shows were creepy because of the low budget animations on Fayo. Over the garden wall. The ending is super creepy. Great show. One of my favorites. Even though it gives me chills. Some of the episodes of Hey Arnold legitimately still give me the creeps years later when I think of them. Him and Gerald fighting as old men on the bus. Then his dead grandfather decomposing in front of him was fucked. For me the ones that really stand out were the haunted train. And that one where the bride hacks her fiancé and sister up after he leaves her at the altar. Seriously. This was a kid's show. Not far behind our 4 eyed Jack. The one with the pirate who left his treasure in the cave 
and the woman who killed the driver of the horse driven carriage. They may have scared me, but god I love that show haha. <laughs> that was such a weird show. Some episodes were all comedy. Some focused on serious stuff. And some were just plain what the hell was that? But the best Christmas special in the business. Which is saying something. Because Rugrats dominated most of the holiday episodes, especially the Jewish ones. Did the daughter become a character after that Hey Arnold episode? Teletubbies. Thomas the Tank Engine his face gives me the fucking creeps. Like the one where they shut Henry in a tunnel by building a brick wall over the exit to punish him. Gravity Falls. Especially season 2. Really great show. Not sure I'd recommend it to kids that don't want nightmares. How about I shuffle the functions of every hole in your face? Excuse me. I've got to turn some kids into corpses. You at least bought gold. Right? In the Night Garden. Man whoever wrote that show was on some good shit. Same person who came up with Teletubbies. Not a children's show. But have you all seen Beauty and the Beast's Enchanted Christmas? There is an organ played by Tim Curry that's creepy as hell. If you haven't seen it, all you need to see is don't fall in love. That's all you would need to see edit. Here are a few actual quotes from the song alone. It's hell when someone's always there. If you're turned on, then just turn off you'll go to pot. You'll turn to drink love of any kind as bad. A dog. And child. A cat. Now where's the sense in that? Used to watch it when I was a kid. And yes, I hated the organ. H. R. Puff and stuff. This was my first thought as soon as I read the question. This show was freaking weird. Like how did it ever get put on the air with how bizarre it looked back in the day. I never watched it before now. But a woman I dated back in the mid 90s was into it and told me her online handle which a poo came from the show. Now I've seen the inspiration. Some episodes of Adventure Time freaked me the fuck out when I was young. The deer with hands. The gif of that deer taking off his hooves to reveal hands is the funniest thing I have ever seen in my life to date. If I'm ever upset or feeling down, someone just has to show me that clip and I can't help but laugh. His dead little eyes. Dumbo. Elephants on parade scene. Those animations are so twisted. It's so hard to believe it's for children. I loved that shit as a kid. It was really fantastical and unreal. And I think a lot of kids really like that even if it's twisted. It's really only in specific episodes. But Adventure Time has some of the creepiest and most disturbing moments I've seen in children's animation. There are blatantly creepy moments such as most scenes where the lid shows up, or the entire episodes of No One Can Hear You, or Blank Eyed Girl. There are also very messed up situations and heavy themes throughout the show like parental abandonment, nuclear warfare, dictatorships, a widow grieving the loss of her husband, abusive relationships, mental health issues, and even the guilt of killing someone. Adventure Time may not be the creepiest show out there, but when you watch the specific episodes and follow the character arcs it can get real dark real fast. Adventure Time is really messed up sometimes. Man. I like there was like a design document or some internal memo or something from Adventure Time that had rules they had to follow. And one of the number one rules was the lich is not funny. He was always meant to be unsettling and a legitimate threat. Until they turned him into a fat baby. Exclamation mark. And then still gave him legitimately creepy scenes. Impressive. It's probably already been said. But Coraline. That shit still haunts me. I can't escape the memory of watching it. The book is just as creepy. I read the book as a kid. I thought the book was way scarier than the movie. In the movie the other dad just turns into this comedic pumpkin. In the book he's in the basement and is some mileless monstrosity that nearly kills her. Brave little toaster. The junkyard scene is terrifying. You made it that far? How about the window air conditioner raging itself to death out of nowhere? Or the vacuum? That ate its cord? You fools. The fucking clown. The animals of Farthingwood. It was basically Game of Thrones with cute forest animals. I remember an episode where a bird impaled mice on a thorn bush. In the second series, after they've made it to the nature reserve, Kestrel catches a mouse and starts eating it. Then sees one of the mice from Farthingwood crying. 
why are you crying? You're eating my wife, a great show. But, damn. Jesus Christ, the second series, that was the one about one of the fox's cubs, wasn't it? Just when you thought the show was already dark. Holy shit did they twist the fucking knife. JJ the jet plane. Just no. Oh my god I loved that show. When I was a kid. I'm just now realizing how horrifying it looked. When you really start thinking about it. Ed Ed and Eddie gets pretty. Eddie always has this kind of evil vibe to him. Truly doesn't do good for anything or anyone. Bullies his friends constantly. He's like Eric Cartman. Also the music has lots of dark tones to it. The illustration has kind of this dark grimy feel to it. It's definitely up there for being weird and creepy. We learn where Eddie got that from. Oh. I haven't finished watching the whole series. But I do vaguely remember him talking about his older brother. Older bro also seemed like a hella psycho but that's about all I've got. Eddie's older brother is an abusive piece of shit. He talks about how amazing he is. Because it allows Eddie to live out the fantasy of having a normal family. He acts the way he does. Because his biggest role model taught him that way. Peep Lepew was clearly a sexed up rapist. Could definitely stand in for Harvey Weinstein. The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. Mr. Rogers was dope. But Lady Elaine was a puppet spinster. With a gin blossom. From hell. Yes. Super creepy. Pretty sure it's been said countless times. But Teletubbies. That vacuum gave me nightmares. No no. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe for more videos.